Hi friends, this is Chris with Josephine's Designs. I'm back today with the Dollar Tree Haul, and I'm super excited to share this with you. There are some really amazing finds at Dollar Tree, and there is some that I have also learned from other YouTubers. But before I do the Dollar Tree, I wanted to show you guys something. I ran into Walmart this week to get like, you know, shelves and stuff. So, you know, had to go down, you know, some of the sewing and craft aisles. But I buy these at Walmart. These are the coilless safety pins. These are fantastic for if you're, if you put beads on pins and you add them to your journals or your, um, you know, even your planners, you can make all kinds of fun, good, yummy things. So I think these, these are by Dritz. And you know what? I am so embarrassed to say I grabbed these to show you guys and I forgot how much they are. I think they're around $2, maybe a little bit more than $2, but they're not bad to get 40 pieces. So they never carry any more than like two or three in all the Walmarts around us. So whenever I find them, I hate to say it, I'm that person that cleans them out, but you know. Anyway, so I wanted to share that with you. Walmart and it's Dritz and it's in the beading section, not the sewing section. Does that make sense? Okay. Because you know why I got them? I go there all the time and I get the little Ziploc bags to use for various things. So, anyways, super boring. Okay, now back to Dollar Tree. <laughs> now we'll go back to the Dollar Tree. I have had a terrible time with receipts lately. They just feel like, you know, you put them together and mama receipt and papa receipt. They make baby receipts, you know, like in It's a Wonderful Life. Mama dollar, papa dollar. So, I decided that I'm going to keep this for my business, uh, my Josephine's Designs. I can also make notes in here. I can put my receipts in here. And how cute is this? Because I was really going in just, and I thought, well, I'll pick up, you know, three of these little plastic envelopes, keep them in my car. But I thought this was really great. Because what I can do is tally each month. These also tear out. So if I have this in my car, they're perforated. I think they're perforated. Is that perforated? Uh, it's kind of like in, indented. I don't know if it's perforated. But anyways, I think these are great. They were $1.70 sheets, 5 by 7 And this is going to be perfect for me to carry either in my bag or in my car. Then secondly, I picked one up for... Um, the uh, practice, the, not the practice, pardon me, <laughs> uh, the partnership. So I thought this one was kind of neat. This is for the partnership. And no, you know, I take that back. This is going to be for my husband's practice. I apologize. That's what I was going to do. This is my husband because he's doing the nautical theme in his office. So I was thinking blue. I know. I'm sorry. Does it really matter? No, but it's the same exact thing. So I thought that was neat. And then this one is for the partnership. Um, I just really, sometimes, I don't buy a whole lot for the partnership, but um, every now and then I get a receipt and, you know, seriously, just be great to stick it in there. So these will literally sit in my little armrest just like that and they can come in or go out with me or they can stick in my bag. So, does that make sense? All right. Okay, the real reason I went in there, <laughs> this is so pathetic, <laughs> I love placards. Do you guys, have you ever used these? I never used these until I broke this hand and it was out of commission so long. You know, they literally put back together all this. And um, you can't floss your teeth with dental floss because you need two hands. And this hand was horrible forever. It looked like a big club because, you know, they, you know, when they, every time they do surgery or whatever, it just blew up. So, um, anyway, so I got these. These are $64. I love this light green placards. I really like the ones that are rounded, but that's just me. Um, the pointy ones are just fine. Some of these, they rip easily. They're not, they, they, um, they just break or they shred or whatever, and I don't like them. These, this is just a brand that my family likes. I thought these used to be, yeah, Fresh and Spreath. I thought these were mint. Oh, they are mint. Okay, there they go. They've changed the bag a little bit. So literally, one of these will go in a Ziploc bag. Like I told you, I get those jewelry, those little tiny Ziploc bags, and it will go in my wallet. And then literally every time I get out of my car or every time we're out somewhere, my husband will say, does anybody have any placards? You know, so anyways, does anybody have any dental floss? So, um, and he's funny. He carries dental floss in his backpack. So anyways, and my youngest daughter loves these, so... Easy, easy peasy, no-brainer. So, that was the whole reason I went in there. 
Then, I wanted to share something with you from one of the absolute dolls here on YouTube. Her name is Catherine, and she has a channel called Do It On A Dime. I have followed Catherine for years. I mean, years and years, like in the beginning. And she was doing a travel haul on what, you know, what's an affordable way to organize and, you know, come back down and not go crazy when you travel. She pointed out these darling little sunglass cases. So I got two sets. And I wear glasses, and I tend to wear, like, clip-on sunglasses. I've done the tinted, you know, prescription glasses bit, and it is just so much easier if I um, do the clip-ons. And I literally have one in my husband's car, one in my car, I have one in my purse, because invariably I'll walk in the house, leave it, set it down, and I forget I have them. And then I even have like the night vision clip-ons. I know, it's really, it's really sad. But we travel a lot and we drive a lot. And if we're on the road at night, um, we can have a lot of deer on the road here. Uh, matter of fact, we were in the hill country Saturday and the first thing we were reminded of was, you know, watch out for the deer. And sure enough, I mean, and yesterday I drove down the road, I had my daughter with me and there was a deer that was dead on the highway. And it was just, oh, it was horrible. But anyways, so... I wear those night vision ones. They are so cheesy, but they are amazingly great at giving you great night vision. You can get them at Bed Bath and Beyond, and I think Walmart has them now, but they're just the yellow sunglasses. And you look at them and you think, well, that doesn't do anything. But at night, if you have night vision or night, night, blind, night blindness issues, they are really great. So I thought these were darling. They're just a dollar. You can clip them on, or I'm just going to set these in my purse, and aren't those just charming? And she uses them to organize her purse. So she might have her cords for her, you know, her MP3 player, or, or you know, her, whatever you mean for her phone, whatever she listens to. And then um, she just uses it for various things. So I thought, well, doggone, these are really almost big enough. I could put two of the clip-ons in one and then just organize my bags. So for a dollar, super cute, and I love the colors. These are cloth. That's never like yay in my book. I really like wipeable surfaces. So I will literally scotch guard these and do an extra good scotch guard um, on these on the um, outsides. And then they won't because let's get real. You know, we put them in our bags and you pull them out and they just look awful. And, you know, I'm just, I hate that. So I really, I thought for a dollar, eh, we can do that. All right, so there's that. I also picked up some really neat, um, these are the name badge labels. While I am moving everything, I am going to be labeling each one of the shelves and setting it up. I have designated plans and drawings, and so um, my sweet youngest is the legs, and um, I am kind of either at the beginning or the end of it. And so we have done the, di we have moved almost everything out of the dining room. Um, there's a few more things we have. Um, almost everything out of the hall because the hallway had a bunch of like humongous shelves I mean loaded and then some carts and things and then if we can get in the craft studio and get the carts out that will relieve so much it'll just give us so much space so I just thought every time I start packing boxes or whatever I'm doing I always wish I had these they're a dollar there's 25 you can even cut them in half if you want to make them stretch so Super great. Just use a black Sharpie. You're good to go. I also picked up these because I love these. I I just think they're darling. I have a couple of these other versions. And I saw, I don't think I have this version. I think I have this version and then the big bunny one. So I thought these were darling. So there you go. Picked up two of those. More decorating for my sweet family. And that will go in another room so I can put that with all the goodies I have to sort and, and get ready. And lastly... I, and I already think I took it all out, but um, I'm, my new craft studio, I love this. This says, Hello World, and I just love that. It's two pieces for a dollar. It's just peel and stick, so when I get tired of it, I can take it off. And at first I thought, wouldn't that be cute for the wedding? And then I thought, no. Well, I mean, yes, it would be, but <laughs> I kind of want it for my space. So anyways, not sure what I'm going to do with this quite yet, but we will make a project with this and I'm hoping to have you with me when I do it, but we'll just have to see how things go. All right. So I love that. I also did this, let your dreams take flight. 
so these would be darling for our daughter and son-in-laws like their their um scrapbook albums all of that i thought these are beautiful and then the same thing for this i, I love the love i love the colors and of course it'll be in the desert southwest here in the united states so i will if oh they are they're all separate look like maybe they're all one piece but no they're all separate so how easy peasy is that i know right and it's i don't think that's a feather i think that's a leaf but we're going to pretend okay <laughs> <laughs> and I love this. It says, Our family is like the branches of a tree. We may grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one. And that is something that, as my husband and I met and buried, we both came from very different kinds of households. There were wonderful people in our lives when we grew up, but we knew when we got married, we were going to raise our children very differently. And we did. Um, we literally put our money where our mouth was, and we cut our income in half, and we raised our kids. And I homeschooled our kids from the get-go, etc. And it wasn't that I wasn't, I have lots of small businesses on the side. I had a brick and mortar store, I had an online, you know, store. My two oldest have all worked in businesses. Our youngest, not so quite yet, and not so much yet, but, you know, in time, in time. But I literally thought, this is so true. Our roots we're like the beginning of our family tree. Um, it's amazing. We are so blessed by our kids. They are amazing. Um, they seem to want to stick around. I feel kind of bad for them. <laughs> Especially those last few years. But I am so honored and blessed and thankful. And so, anyways, I don't know what I'm going to do with this yet. This may just go in our family scrapbook. But it just meant a lot to me when I saw that because we planted a different kind of tree when we married and sometimes your roots grow back to your your parents and in our family they did grow with you know with my parents being kind of the fertilizers let's say um, they really helped us grow they really loved each one of them in our family they adored my husband they were so um, good to him and he so loved them I mean, it was just a whole different experience, and my life with my parents changed a lot, um, and one day I'll share my testimony, but anyways, long story short, we did grow a different family, and, and our family is like the branches of the tree. We may grow in different directions, yet our roots remain as one, and in our children's lives, we hoped that that would be um, we, we want the best for our kids, and if they need to go do something different, we are totally in support of that. But for right now, this is just where we're at. So, anyways, they're amazing. We're blessed. We'll see how it all turns out. But, you know, all it's all got to be in God's plan. I don't care what they do. They just have to obey God's will. <laughs> Even if it's not close to mama. <laughs> anyways, I love this. So, this is cute, girls, girl, uh, girl boss. I thought this was so cute. Yeah, you know I'm going to put that somewhere on a planner or I don't know what I'm going to do with it yet or a journal. I just love this. I thought this was super, super cute. So, long story short, you can find all kinds of stuff at Dollar Tree. And I just wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I found. And, of course, I went in for these and came out with all of this and feel like, you know, I kind of came out like I scored you know what I mean? In a wonderful way. And then I also, you know, I did pick up these at, at, at Walmart. But um, I hope you enjoyed this. Again, go look at Catherine's channel. Do it on a dime. She is a doll. She does very quick videos. Nothing like me. And um, she's amazing. And just super bright, super cheerful, super encouraging. I, I just think she's just so precious, guys. So, again, Catherine on Do It On A Dime here on YouTube. And... I hope you guys like this. If you did, give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. We'd love to have you with us. Hit that notification bell. It'll tell you every time a new video comes up. Um, leave a comment below. Write me an email, uh, josephinesdesigns.com at gmail.com. And share this if this would help somebody else that you know. Okay, my dear sweet friends, I pray your day is so very blessed. And you are just creative and and, and it's lovely. Go bless somebody else. Go encourage somebody else with all that beautiful, 
brilliant creativity that I know you all have. You guys are amazing. You blow me out of the water every time when you guys send me emails and show me your projects. I am so humbled and I am so thankful for you guys. I am so grateful that you guys take the time, send me pictures of the project you're working on. Um, it is really amazing. So, all right, I'm going to let you go. I'll be talking to y'all soon. Y'all take care. Bye-bye.